All right, I have a nice video here for the Fedorama. And I had a number of people request this. This just came out. This is called Opazage. And this is a Fedora base distribution that uses the brand new KDE 4.8. It's got the brand new 3.3 Linux kernel. It's got the latest Firefox, the latest Wine. Um, it's got a lot of really cool stuff. Why don't I show you right after I roll the intro? Two of my subscribers suggested that I take a look at this, and here it is. This is OpenZange, based on Fedora. This uses the latest 3.3 kernel, and it also has KDE 4.8 as its default desktop. Okay, I can see here, uh, just from opening this, got a very colorful appearance and it looks like it has a bunch of uh, items in your lens here already pre-selected and ready for you to start your work right away but before we get into all the applications for those of you who are not familiar with KDE basically this is a compositors and customizers dream desktop because there are a number of things that you can do with KDE for instance you can add panels you can add widgets and all kinds of activities to your desktop and so you can pretty much customize this and make it your own there's even a selection down here where you can make customizations to your panel you can add widgets and that sort of thing so let's grab an analog clock and we can just drag it wherever we want it and then we have a nice little tool right here we can use, we can resize it, we can position it wherever we want, we can even, uh, you know, change additional settings if we wish. Now obviously this isn't going to be very responsive because I am running this in a virtual machine. But here we go. Now we've got some different things that we can do with this. We can show the second hands if we want to. We can even show what time zone we are in. Uh, very helpful if you want to, um, if you're also tracking other time zones and that sort of thing. Pretty neat. I like how this looks. All right. Down here, you have a clock, which when clicked also gives you a really nice looking calendar as well. Uh, you have hidden icons here which has your battery monitor, device notifier, and notifications. You have your networking interface here. Uh, this is your display interface. You also have a volume control and then a clipboard manager. Okay then, and on the lower left here, you'll see there is a desktop switcher where you have four desktops to choose from, a quick launch to your home folder, you get the Firefox web browser and then there is an activity manager as well let's go ahead and open up the Firefox browser I'm understandably curious to see which version they included with this okay and upon opening the web browser uh, we find that it takes you to the OpenZange website on SourceForge and this is actually running Firefox 11 which is uh, kind of cool. So pretty much, and, and looking at the statistics on um, on DistroWatch, uh, it looks like this is running pretty much bleeding edge just about everything. So if you're looking for a fresh new operating system, this is the one to get. But something I need to point out here is the fact that this, you can see my CPU gauge in HTOP here, is showing that it is running pretty high in the CPU range. So, you probably don't want to use this on older hardware, but this is great if you've got a new computer. All right, let's go ahead and close this, and we'll uh, proceed further and see what else you get with this. 
Now, you have a number of things that are uh, added right here. For instance, you have the Add Software. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at that Software Center. This is based on Fedora, and I'm very interested in seeing... Um, I know that this uses RPM package management, but I'd like to see if there's uh, anything different. Okay, now this is something I haven't seen before. This is a program called Apper. Okay, but I like how this looks. You have some choices for uh, getting uh, applications and that sort of thing. Uh, it gives you a list of the installed software and then the updates. You can click on applications and then pretty much you can go into any of these. And let's just, I'm just randomly browsing through this just to see uh, what kind of selections they have available. Okay, looks like they have a huge selection of games here. And just out of curiosity, when I click on this, is this going to give me a description and maybe even a screenshot or some details about the product? Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to do that for us. Okay, it does give us a little description but maybe some screenshots might appear in some of these games. Ah! Okay, so it does at least give us a description. It doesn't give us a screenshot, uh, but we do see uh, some descriptions and that sort of thing, and that's important for a number of people, especially uh, for for uh, people that are transitioning from another operating system over to Linux and they want to see what kind of software packages they're going to be downloading so they, you know, because obviously you're going to want to try out a number of different packages, especially if you're looking for replacements of your Windows software. Okay, I was understandably curious about uh, which version of Wine this ships was since they have a link to it on the, uh, des on the uh, uh, desktop lens here. And it looks like it's shipping with the latest stable 1.4 release. Very nice. Okay, and then uh, we have Dropbox. We already covered Firefox. Google Docs login has a link here for those of you who use that. There's an info center, installed the desktop, uh, internet connections, language, MSN chat, multimedia, network storage, office, Open Zange USB tool printers, setting up 3D effects. For those of you who like the eye candy, this includes Skype, webcam software, and Windows file sharing. Okay, now out of the box, this actually uses a classic menu. Now, you can go to the standard KDE application launcher style by right-clicking on the icon and selecting it and you'll see it here. However, I never really liked the application launcher style that comes with KDE, so the classic menu style works nicely for me. That was refreshing to see they already had it set up that way. And here it is. Okay, first you get the Dolphin file manager in the listing. I'm going to go ahead and open this up because I want to show you just how cool this is for those of you who've never tried KDE. Uh, I really like the Dolphin file manager because, I mean, it, it really enables you to do some pretty neat stuff. Um, let me go ahead and, uh, oops, click the wrong window here. All right, there we go. All right. And you can see, even without any um, compositing set up, you'll see that KDE is actually doing some compositing effects and transparency effects and that sort of thing, which I thought is really cool, at the expense of eating some CPU there. But at any rate, I like the fact that you can, you know, easily, you know, resize your folders and images to your liking. Also, you have um, you also have this mode here where you can have uh, different folders open, and this makes it convenient for transferring files back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, that sort of thing. It looks like we already have a Dropbox file 
uh, in the download folder. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect to see anything in the download folder on uh, a live CD, but okay, cool. <laughs> and so you can easily drag and drop files if you wish to from one folder to another. Also, this has tab browsing. I really like this interface. It is highly customizable. There are so many things that you can actually do with this. Uh, you can change its look and feel. Um, there are so many different looks that you can get out of this. Icons, compact details. You can show items in groups. There are, you can even show hidden panels if you wanted to. I forgot I have mine switched in another place here. Okay, and then you have location bars. You have additional panels you can add. So if you want the information panel, that opens up for you now. And now you can get additional information on items that you have installed. And then, of course, if the icons are too large, you can switch them to your liking. You can pretty much resize stuff however you want. Nautilus, I mean, not Nautilus, but the Dolphin uh, Manager is really cool. I like it. All right, let's see what else you get with this operating system. Okay, you also get Wine Mine, which is a uh, clone of uh, Windows Minesweeper, one of my favorite games. In administration, you get Apper. Authentication, HP, Device Manager, Language, Samba, System, Config for your date and time, Users and Groups. In Games, you get only one game with this, and that's the Wine Mine, of course. In Graphics, you get the Events Document Viewer, probably the best document viewer that we have in Linux. You get Gwenview for viewing your images, Color Paint, uh, Case Snapshot, and Ocular. In more applications, you get a uh, ruler and you get a color chooser. All right, and then in Internet and Messaging, you get Blue Devil, Dropbox, IP Tux, Knet Attach, Conqueror Web Browser. For those of you who are looking for an Internet Explorer type of browsing experience, you also get Pigeon Internet Messenger and Skype. In Multimedia, you get Audio CD Extractor, Brezero, the perfect disc burner for those of you who are going to burn your copies of that wonderful uh, Pair OS Comis 4 operating system. But if you're going to burn a real operating system, use K3B. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to throw that one out there. Uh, God, that one had me so aggravated. But anyway, any rate, back to this one. You get the Cheese Webcam Booth K3B, definitely the better of the two disc burning softwares. You get K-Mix, Sound Mixer, Movie Player, Rhythm Box, and then the VLC Media Player. You get the LibreOffice Suite with this, with Project Management. In System, you get the Dolphin File Manager that I, that I just did a brief tour on. You get the Fedora Live USB Creator, the KDE Partition Manager, KD is ISK free, which is a view disk usage tool. Never seen that one before. Okay, uh, K Info Center console. You get the K K Rander tray. You get the K Wallet manager, uh, quick disk. You get backup solutions and a system monitor and utilities. You get the ARC archiving tool. You get free light, a disk usage statistics, K calc, K character select, K floppy formatter, KGPG, clipper, K timer, K write, super caramba, desktop widgets. What a name! Super caramba! Okay. <laughs> and then sweeper, which is your system cleaner. On all this looks like a nice comprehensive set uh, for what you get in that one gig download. It is a little bit heavy though, so use it on newer hardware. 
This is a great looking operating system and because it is based on Fedora, it would I, I, I expect that this would have the same security that and uh, it, well, some people argue will believe will say that Fedora is not the, necessarily the most secure. Uh, operating system, but the thing is, you know, it's based on the technology that's going into Red Hat Linux. So, all in all, I like what I see here. I'm glad that you guys suggested this one to me. I would definitely recommend this one for those of you who want a nice KDE experience. This does look like something that would be beginner friendly, as they stated, or a user friendly operating system. So, you got nothing to lose. Go ahead on the site. I'll have it in the show notes. You can download this and give it a spin in your virtual machines and see if it's some, this is something you would like to use. If you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.